Hi Aquarius, you guys were on my mind to do and then you got actually came up in my Aries readings. So this is going to be an Aquarius reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Cross Watchers. So if you're a Cross Watcher, this could be your energy or this could be the energy of Aquarius. Okay, so what are your guys' main energies that you need to know? Spring, see your seeds grow. Okay, so what I'm getting initially is that you may be coming out of a winter type period where things were very kind of slow and hibernating. Yeah, see this actually was showing before I shuffled and I was like, I feel like that's their card. Um, Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted. Okay, so I'm getting a very like connecting to nature, getting outside, even just listening to the sounds of nature, listening to birds chirp, um, listening to, I'm hearing like leaves rust rustling. Um, going outside in the early morning when it's quiet, if you're in a place where you can hear nature, if not listening to YouTube um, videos about nature, really connecting with that earthy element right now is the space that you're in, Aquarius, okay? Um, some of you guys might be new mothers or wanting to be mothers or connecting just to that. I'm getting like moon energy, that feminine energy, just really connecting to your body, doing yoga, Okay, um, and you know, because we have the earth mother and then we have a, a rabbit, which is also fertility. So, um, but I also feel this is a very fertile time for you guys to be growing, planting new seeds, starting new things, trying new ventures. Okay, all right, Aquarius. So, let's see what else is going on. These are mainly love readings. So, what else do you guys need to know, Aquarius? What is the other energy? that's coming through. We have four of swords. Yeah, see, I feel this is that meditative energy of really taking the time for yourself, retracting your energy, gathering your thoughts, being outside with nature, because I feel like nature is going to speak to you. You're going to see signs in nature like butterflies, um, dragonflies, um, just maybe certain birds, bluebirds, uh, woodpeckers, whatever it is that resonates with you. But this could also mean that there's just this like quiet time where maybe you've been waiting on communication from someone and you guys are not speaking right now. It could be that you end up speaking again when it's spring in your time. We have King of Cups reverse. Someone's not feeling the love here. Someone's withholding love. It's a Scorpio energy. This is also... Um, Someone unable, like emotionally unavailable, I'm, I'm hearing, could be, we do have Ace of Cups, okay? Um, they do have love, and then we have Two of Cups reversed. Ooh, okay. Let's get a couple more cards. I'm just hearing, um, where did we go wrong? Three of Swords, yeah, you see? Heartache, disappointment. It's like there was once love and it's like the flowers died. This garden like lost its water. Someone stopped watering the garden. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Oof, okay. Someone feels like um, this wasn't going to practically turn into anything. I'm also hearing I never meant to hurt you. So if someone has recently hurt you guys, um, it's not because I feel like you guys have lost your sense of um, feeling good about yourself. And it's not a reflection of like them not thinking you're beautiful, them not thinking you're worthy, them not seeing you in this like beautiful, even like motherly way. Something could have happened with their mother. Okay. They could have lost their mother. Um or, um, okay, how do they, how do they feel about Aquarius? The tower, ooh, okay. Yeah, it's like things fell apart. Okay, I was just listening to this song the other day because it came up on my Facebook memories of like a song I had posted years ago. Um, it's called The Pieces Don't Fit Anymore from um, James, I can't remember. Pieces don't fit anymore. Okay, so how they view you as the tower. Um, 
when they view you, it feels very uncomfortable for them, okay? It's almost like viewing you makes them have to face a part of themselves that they can't right now. Okay, what do they feel about this situation? The High Priestess. Yeah, I mean, with the High Priestess and the Four of Swords, I feel like they're taking a step back. They're trying to use their intuition. This is Pisces energy. It's just very interesting to me that we have Ace of Cups upright, Two of Cups reversed, and King of Cups reversed. I feel like they're withholding their love. Why are they withholding their love? Five of Cups reverse. It's like it was too painful for them. There's, they have too much pain in their life. Um, they also don't want to move backwards. Okay? Um, it's like they feel too much. We have so many Cups, guys. We have Five of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, King of Cups. They're actually trying to be someone who doesn't care so much. They're protecting themselves, and they also are so afraid of, like, any, like, it's like they're so unstable that if they add one more chip to the block, they're done. I said this in another reading recently, and they're very heartbroken. They're working through a lot of grief right now. They also feel like maybe they hurt you. Why did they hurt you? Hmm. We have two cards come up. These are both reversed. I'm trying to think if I want to. Well, either way, we have two of swords and six of swords. No, six of wands. I'm sorry. They hurt you because they have so many agendas in their own life that they're trying to be there. There's a lot of ego here, too, to be honest, guys. They think a lot what other people. They care a lot what other people think of them. And that kind of clouds their ability to see what it is that they truly want. They're very concerned with other people's opinions. And I hate to say this, guys, but they may have shared your situation with others. And now it's too late because they've already painted this picture of you guys not really being a good fit. And um, now if they were to change their mind, but they're very conflicted because they created this own um, kind of penitentiary for themselves. Okay, so what is, what is your card, your animal card, and what's theirs? What energy is Aquarius in and what is theirs? Okay, we have ants. That's your energy. And then we have, oh, we have another rabbit, guys. This is the third, like, fertility sign. And rabbits are very, like, skittish and so are deer. They're very skittish. What's the ant card say here? I was thinking abundance when I saw that focus. I succeed with hard work and determination. I also feel they're very threatened by your um, your financial success. I heard abundance, but I also feel like we had the eight of pentacles reverse. When they look at you, they look at their lack of success. They look at themselves a lot when they look at you and it's hard for them to deal with. So what does it say for the deer? I love deer, baby deers are like my favorite. Stillness, in stillness I find my way. They're quiet, they're still, they're aware. They're they're thinking about their they're thinking about their next step here. Okay? And then fearlessness is the rabbit. Fear does not control me. I release my fear. But they are fearful. There's a lot of fear here. Okay, so what do they want to say to you, Aquarius? I want to tell you how I feel. So they're trying to work up the courage, guys. They are thinking about this because we have the Ace of Cups. They are thinking about how they could tell you how they feel. I wonder if you are happy without me. Their mind plays like a lot of tricks on them. Like they think a lot about, they imagine what you're feeling and thinking. I know I was a distraction from your pain and you came closer than anyone. So um, 
they are also projecting a lot of their own pain onto you because like I said, they have a lot of pain and this is how you feel. You feel like you were a distraction from their pain. I feel like this person has a lot of pain that they have to sift through and they don't let anyone get close. So they might surround themselves with a lot of people you might see on social media. They seem close to others, but this is this is just a distraction from their pain. You're not a distraction because you make them face themselves, which is what they're avoiding doing. But they push you away and then they're like, hmm, I miss you. It's kind of like that push and pull energy. And they're just very skittish and they're very fearful. And this person may lack some courage that's required. Um, they also, with the deer, I feel they're very vulnerable. They feel very fragile. They see you as very strong and they feel very weak in comparison to you. All right, guys, that is your reading. I hope it resonates with you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.